Lorraine and Tao, let's take a look at uh, blood vessels. Screen. Okay, so basically, there are three main blood vessels that you need to learn. Artery, vein, and capillaries. The definition first, can you define artery, Lorraine? Uh, in oxygenated blood away from the heart. Carry oxygenated blood away. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is wrong. The artery and vein are not defined by what they carry. They are defined by how they carry. That means, are they carrying blood away from the heart or towards the heart? So, artery carries pressurized blood away from the heart to other parts of the body, while vein carries low pressure blood from other parts of the body to the heart. Okay, this is the definition. For oxygenated and deoxygenated, it's not uh, quite um, accurate because pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein will carry uh, things that are opposite of normal artery and normal vein. Like for example, normal artery carry oxygenated blood, uh, but pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood. So, strictly speaking, the definition of artery and vein cannot base on oxygen and uh, cannot base on oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood. Can? Okay. Am I speaking too fast? You guys grab me, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Capillaries, capillaries definition is basically supply cells with food and oxygen, remove waste material. Okay, this is uh, quite good. Uh, but I have a better definition for capillaries. Capillaries allow gaseous exchange, nutrient and waste exchange between the blood and body tissue. Okay? Do you guys get, get it? Yeah. You all want to write down or not? Write down this one simpler, I think. It is capillary is defined as a blood vessels that allow gaseous exchange, comma, nutrient and waste exchange between the blood vessels and body tissue. Oh, can, you, can you repeat that again? I repeat again. Huh? Uh, how, how about I, I write it on the board? Okay. Capillaries allow Gaseous exchange, nutrients, and waste exchange between the blood vessels and the body cells. Okay, Ken? Yeah. Okay, let me share screen. Okay, the physical structure for artery. Artery is thick, elastic, and has muscular wall. Vein is quite thin, less elastic, and has less muscular wall, while capillary is very thin. It's just one cell thick. Why does it need to be thick? Why does artery need to be thick and has a large amount of muscular wall? Why? Because you need to carry pressurized blood. Pressurized blood has high blood pressure. That means it has high force passing through them. So if you are not thick, you end up 
bursting. Okay, if you are very thin, then you probably, uh, due to high pressure, it will burst. Is that okay? Yes. For wind, it is less thick because, after all, it is carrying low blood pressure, uh, low pressurized blood. So in that case, it will, there is no need for it to become thick. At the same time, artery is elastic so that when it expands, it can push the blood back into the blood vessels. In other words, artery, due to its elastic wall, it is able to maintain the high blood pressure along the artery. You guys understand? Not really. Hello? Okay, I... I explained the elastic again. Huh? <laughs> Basically, the artery is very thick. Right? The vein is thinner. Because the blood pressure here is very high. So if it's very thin like this, it will end up bursting. Okay? Yeah. Vein can afford to have thin blood vessels because the blood pressure in it is very low. At the same time, the artery is full of elastic wall. Why is it elastic? Elastic means you can expand and contract back, you know, like a tennis ball like that. You press it, it comes out again. Press it, it comes out again. So it's like, you can move from this to this, this to this, this to this, this to this, like this. Okay? So this is elastic. So when it is elastic, after large amount of blood flow through it, it can actually contract back. Because it's muscle mass, it contract back and become like this, so that it will force the blood to push forward. So it will maintain the blood pressure. It will maintain the blood pressure along the artery. Because when blood pressure, sorry, when large amount of blood come in, it will become like this. Then the artery wall will push the blood back when it becomes like this. So it will maintain the force as it goes along the artery. Is that okay? No. Yeah. So let's continue with the next part. Uh, permeability. Artery is non-permeable. Vein is also non-permeable. Capillaries is semi-permeable. Why does it need to be semi-permeable? Because uh, you want to allow nutrients, gases, and also the waste to move through. So that's why it's semi-permeable. Okay? The width of the lumen varies. While this one is very wide to encourage blood flow. Capillary is very narrow to ensure that it is very narrow because say, for example, this is very narrow, this is not very narrow. If it's not very narrow, then a lot of red blood cell can uh, move at one time. So if it's very narrow, then it will squeeze the red blood cell and force the red blood cell to move in one file. One file. Okay, like this. So that's why uh, capillaries are very narrow. Okay? Okay. Okay. Cross sectional is circular over this is circular. Okay, this one you don't really need to memorize. So uh flow and pressure. I already tell you this is very pressurized, this one low pressure. Well, this one, uh, because it has a uh what we call, I'll show you this. Capillaries connect arteries and vein. So if this side is artery, this side is vein, this is capillary. So remember, artery has high blood pressure, right? Vein has low blood pressure. So how about the blood pressure of the capillary? The blood pressure of capillary is higher near the arterial end, while this one is lower near the venue end. So you might be wondering what is arterial. Arterial is a smaller branch of artery. Venue is a smaller branch of 
vein. Okay, so uh, the blood pressure in the capillaries is higher near the arterial end and lower near the venue end. Okay, Ken? Okay, wait. Uh, I share screen first. Okay, valve, there is no valve in the artery, there is no valve in the capillary, there is semi lunar valve in the vein. This is to prevent backflow of blood. Okay, oxygen, basically, I already mentioned just now. Okay, so uh, this is the structure um, for blood vessels. Let me stop recording for a song. Uh, where is it? Stop share.